kids, I want to read you a book today. This one is called Mona Bill's Bicycle. I wish I could be there to read it with you, but for today, I'm just going to read it to you. This book was sent to Karina by Grandma when she was a little girl. Was Mona Bill from Eagle Park that caught the cycling craze. He turned away the good old horse that served him for many days. He dressed himself in cycling clothes resplendent to be seen. He hurried off to town and bought a shining new machine. Look at his old-fashioned bicycle clothes. Isn't he funny? And as he wheeled through the door with air of lordly pride, the grinning shop assistant said, Excuse me, can you ride? See here, young man, said Mogabil, from Walgett to the sea, from Conroy's Gap to Castlereagh, there is none can ride like me. Oh, he looks very sure he can ride this bicycle, doesn't he? Look at him. Oh, yes, very sure. So let's see what happens to Mogabil. I'm good all round it everything, as everybody knows, although I'm not the one to talk. I hate a man that blows. But riding is my special gift, my chiefest soul delight. Just ask a wild duck, can it swim? A wild cat, can it fight? There is nothing clothed in hair, to, hair or hide, or built of flesh or steel. There's nothing walks or jumps or runs on axle, hoof, or wheel, but what I'll sit while hide will hold and girth and straps are tight. I'll ride this here to wield concern right straight away at sight. He is so sure he can ride this bicycle. Look at his bicycle. Oh my goodness, that's a very old-fashioned bike. I like his striped socks. Do you see the boy in the tree? Is that Lucas in the tree watching silly Mogga Bill? Well, what happens to Mogga Bill? Twas Mogga Bill from Eagle Hawk that sought his own abode, that perched above the dead man's creek beside the mountain road. He turned the cycle down the hill and mounted for the fray. But ere he'd gone a dozen yards, he bolted clean away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I wonder what's going to happen. Look, oh my goodness, right towards the sheep. Look at that. It left the track and through the trees just like a silver streak. It whistled down the awful slope toward the dead man's creek. <gasps> oh no, what's going to happen? <laughs> it shaved a stump by half an inch. It dodged a big white box. Look at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wonder what happens next. Let's see. The very wallaroos in fright went scrambling up the rocks. Look at them go. The wombats hiding in their caves dug, dug deeper underground. I think they're afraid. Oh my goodness, Mogga Bill and his bicycle. But Mogga Bill, as white as chalk, sat tight to every bound. Look at him screaming. <laughs> It struck a stone and gave a spring that cleared a fallen tree. Oh dear, is he going to go over it like Lucas did and hit his nose? Oh, it ra 
raced beside a precipice as close as close could be, and then as Marga Bill let out one last despairing shriek, look at him shrieking. Oh, oh my goodness, where does he end up? Let's see. It made a leap of 20 feet into the dead man's creek. Look at him go. Head over heels, right into the creek. This is my favorite picture, right here. <laughs> Twas Mogabill from Eagle Hawk that slowly swam ashore. He said, I've had some, some narrow shaves and lively rides before. I've rode a wild bull round a yard to win a five pound bet, but this was sure the dirtiest ride that I've encountered yet. I'll give that two-wheeled outlaw best. It's shaken all my nerve to feel it whistle through the air and plunge and buck and swerve. I think he knows the bicycle won that encounter, didn't it? <laughs> It's safe at rest in Dead Man's Creek. We'll leave it lying still. A horse's back is good enough henceforth for Mulga Bill. Back to his horse. I think his horse looks happy, don't you? And I think Mulga Bill is happy to be back with his horse. So kids, I miss being able to read stories to you at night and to have Lucas read to me. So I just want you to know it. I love you very much. Take care. Bye.